For sure, your next question would be, what causes objects to stay in place and what causes them to move? And to explain that, we have the balance and unbalanced forces. Okay class, so let us have the balance of force. When we say balance force, it is one in which the net force equals to zero. Now take note of the word net force and must equal to zero. Okay, for example, we are going to play a tug of war where for each team we have two members and let us say each team will be using same amount of force which is 500 newtons. By the way, class, the unit used for force is Newton or simply capital letter N. Going back, what if each team will be using 500 newtons of force in pulling the rope against one another? Will there be any motion? Certainly, no. Simply because the net force equates to zero. In getting the net force, we simply get the difference between the two forces. So meaning, balance forces keep an object stay in place. Okay, let us have now the unbalance of force. Unbalanced force is one in which the net force is not equal to zero. Now class, take note of the net force. But this time is not equal to zero. Okay, for example, we still have the same game, a tag of war, where for each team, we have two members. We have the team A to the left and team B to the right. What if team A used 500 newtons of force in pulling the rope towards left, while team B used 450 newtons of force in pulling the rope towards right? Will there be any motion? Yes, simply because the net force does not equal to zero. In fact, we have a net force of 15 newtons from the difference of the two forces. And the object will move to the left. And that is unbalanced force. So meaning unbalanced forces make an object move. Also, only an unbalanced force can change the motion of an object. For example, your dog can cause you to move if it pulls with enough force because his force is greater than the force you're using to stay in place. What would happen if an unbalanced force acted on an object that is already in motion? Simply, it may result to change of the speed or direction of an object. For example, your sister is driving her car. You run up behind her and give her a push. So, your force adds to the existing force, causing her to speed up. Unbalanced forces can act in the same direction. Example, you're pushing a cabinet across the room with a force of 15 newtons. Your friend is pulling with a force of 10 newtons. Now, what is the net force? To get the net force, we simply add 15 newtons and 10 newtons since both forces were applied on the same direction. And so, we have a net force of 15 newtons. And definitely, the object will move to the right. Also, unbalanced forces can happen in different directions. For example, suppose five boys are playing tag of war. Two persons on the left, while three are on the right. Team A exerts 20 newtons of force to the left, while Team B exerts 30 newtons of force to the right. Now, what is the net force? Since both forces were applied on different directions, we have to subtract. So we will have 20 newtons of force minus 30 newtons, then we will get negative 10. But take note that there is no negative force. So simply, we will have 10 newtons of force. And definitely, the object will move to the right since team B exerted greater force than team A.